Hi, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the third video in the electric circuit series where we're going to look at voltage. So in a circuit, there's two main quantities um, that we can make measurements of. Uh, and those are called voltage and current. So this is the video on voltage and the next video will be about current. So what is voltage? Voltage is the energy difference between two points in a circuit for a coulomb of charge. Now that is a lot to um, swallow, so let's break that definition down and see if we can understand what's going on. So there's a new word here, coulomb, a coulomb of charge. That's a fancy way of talking about a group of electrons. And in the later videos, in the electric statics videos, um, I'm going to go into more about what um, charges and what a coulomb of charges. But for now, let's just think of it as a group of electrons. Electrons travel around a circuit, and so we're measuring the energy difference between two points for a group of electrons. It's between two points as well, so that's really important. You can't just put a, a voltmeter in one point in a circuit and measure voltage. You have to b measure between two points. So a simpler definition that I use, as opposed to this true definition, is I just say the energy gain or loss per group of electrons. Um, and sometimes in my brain I just simplify it down to the energy gained or loss per electron, which is not strictly true because we're always talking about a group of electrons. But just sometimes to understand circuits, it helps me to think of it, the energy uh, gained or lost per electron. The other name that you'll see for voltage is potential difference. Now that comes from the fact that we're measuring between two points, the energy difference between two points. So this first page has a lot of definitions here. It'll make sense once we um, have a look at some circuits and um, measure some voltages for those. All right, so remember our simple definition is energy gained or lost per group of electrons. So I have a circuit here. Um, and there is electrons flowing from the battery through the bulb and back around to the battery again. And I've got a voltmeter. So what I'm going to do is with the voltmeter, I need to put it on either side of the battery, and I can measure the voltage of the electrons going through the battery. So that's the energy difference. They gain 9 volts. I can do the same thing over the bulb, and they lose 9 volts. That kind of makes sense because 9 volts gain 9 volt lots. I can measure... Um, between two bits and a wire and it's zero volts because there's no difference in the energy there and the same there. The energy is not being lost at those points but it is being lost across the light bulb so that's why it measures nine volts. So if you measure at any point between two bits and a wire, zero volts because there's no energy difference. But if you measure between uh, two points where there's a component like a light bulb or a battery, you'll measure the energy gained or the energy lost um, through that component. Okay, so we want to know um, some rules for voltage in series circuits and voltage in parallel circuits. Let's start with um, the voltage in the series circuit. So I've got a series circuit here. Electrons come out of the battery, go through one bulb, go through the other bulb. All right, so I measure my voltage over my bulb, and it's the same, uh, sorry, my battery, same as last time, 9 volts. Now I measure over each individual bulb, and that's telling me the energy used through this bulb is 4.5 volts, and I can measure over the other one, and I get four and a half again. So it started with nine and four and a half has been dropped off at each one and if I mirror over both of them nine volts is the difference. That just kind of makes sense. Electrons come in, they use nine volts um, and so the way I think about this is electrons go through the battery, they pick up energy and they drop that energy off in one bulb and they drop some energy off in another bulb. Now that's strictly not quite true because if you think of it that way um, some people think well the electrons come around and they drop all of their energy at the first bulb and none for the second bulb. Um, so if you're going to think of that metaphor, you've got to think um, as electrons come out, they know what they're going to see ahead of them. And they know they have to drop off some energy in one bulb and some energy off in the second bulb. But the main thing to get out of this is in a series circuit, voltage is split between the bulbs. We had 9 volts to start with and on each bulb I had 4.5 volts. These bulbs are identical, so that makes sense. 4.5 and 4.5 and equals 9. You're going to meet some situations where the bulbs might be different. You might have 9 volts in the battery and 3 volts on one, and 6 volts on the other. 6 and 3 makes 9 still. In a parallel circuit, we have electrons coming out of the battery and then flowing through one or two bulbs. We can measure the battery again. Same battery should be 9 volts. Yep. And if we measure each bulb individually, we see that there's 9 volts on one bulb, and on the other bulb, still 9 volts. So the way we can think about that is electrons pick up their energy from the battery, they travel around, and as they get to the junction, some electrons take their energy, their 9 volts, one way, and some electrons, you can see, go the other way. So each electron only ever goes through one bulb or the other, picks up its 9 volts and drops it off at one of the bulbs or the other bulbs. So that's why each bulb can have the total voltage that the battery is giving out. So the rule for parallel circuits 
is that the total voltage is the same in each branch. We have 9 volts in the battery, 9 volts in one bulb, 9 volts in the other bulb. So the last thing I want to introduce you to is an equation. This equation for voltage is effectively the definition. Remember our definition is the energy difference between two points in a circuit for a coulomb of charge. Written as an equation looks like this. V is voltage. E is the energy between two points per, because that's what divided by is, um, group of electrons, a coulomb. So that comes up very seldomly, um, but it helps you to remember what the definition of um, voltage is. It's energy per group of electrons. So in summary, this video has shown you um, our definition for voltage, which is quite complicated. And so I have a simple definition. It's just the energy gained or lost per group of electrons. It's also called potential difference. It's called potential difference because you're always looking at the energy difference between two points in a circuit, either either side of a component or either side of a battery. Uh, the definition sorry, has a formula as well, and that is um, energy per coulomb, which is what we had um, as a definition, obviously. And there's two rules, so series and parallel. In series, the total voltage is split between bulbs. In parallel, the total voltage is the same for each branch. Now, there's a lot to take in just for this idea of voltage. Um, the good news is, the next video will do current, and the video after that, I introduce you to an idea um, called IV diagrams, and these diagrams encompass all of these rules and put them together in one go and make life a lot easier for you moving forward. So stick around for that.